Hello my invisible learners. Today we are going to learn about something interesting that is monopoly market. But before that let us take a quick look at some interesting pictures. So this is monorail which runs on single track. This is monocooler optical instrument for viewing distant objects with single lens monocycle with one wheel and the finally monoplane with one pair of wings now the main thing we must see here the common term is mono and the mono means single where everything in this picture is one that means mono means single now let me introduce a term a new term that is polyon which in a greek means seller British derived a new term from the word pollen which means poly. If we combine these two words, we have the main thing that is today's topic is monopoly. That means single seller situation that refers a market situation where one firm or a group of the firms which are combined to have a control over the supply of a product or if we have a, a just a single uh, sentence, we may say that the market with a single seller, a large number of buyers and a product which has no close substitutes. It's called the monopoly market. The example is Microsoft and Windows. In a single meaning, we may say that the in case of the monopoly, the exclusive position or the control of a supply or a trade in a commodity or a service. Here's, let us take a quick look some examples of the monopoly. That's obviously Indian Railway, Google, Parents, AT&T, Facebook in a social media and Microsoft, of course. And now a monopoly market has the following characteristics. The first characteristics is high or no barriers to entry. Remember, in a perfectly competitive market, there is a free entry and exist. In case of the monopoly, no barriers to entry. In a monopoly, there is a only a one firm producing the commodity. No other firms produce the same commodity. Hence, there is a no distinction between the firm and the industry in the monopoly. Second feature is single seller situation. Where the monopoly is uh, only, monopoly has uh, only one seller in the market. Meaning, the company becomes the same as the industry serves. Our third is the price maker. The monopolist can influence either the price or the quantity of output. In a perfectly competitive market, the firm takes the price as given and adjusts only the level of the output. But in case of the monopoly, this totally difference. The company that operates the monopoly decides the price of the product that it will sell without any type of the competition, keeping their price in check. And our last, the foremost feature is economics of scale. A monopoly often can produce at a lower cost than a smaller companies. Monopolies can buy a huge quantities of inventory. For example, as usually a volume discount. As a result, a monopoly can lower its price so much that a smaller competitor can, cannot survive. In the right hand side uh, draft, we must say that the economics of the scale, where the LRAC is just slowly downward sloping, and it touched the demand curve at the 10,000 quantity where the price is. Nine pound. Now let us take a quick look about the advantages and disadvantage of a monopoly market. Where the first advantage where they encourage R and D and resource and development. Next encourages innovation. Third, economics of scale can be gained. We know that in early the perfect competition there is a no uh, economics of scale and that's a disadvantage of the perfectly competitive market. And let's check the disadvantage. The first is higher prices, exploitation of consumer. 
Third, second is potential for the supply to be limited. We have a less choice because buyer ha- want a more choice. And third, potential for inefficiency. We know that there is a four types of monopoly market. The first is natural monopoly. The cost are the minimized by having a single supplier like a Sampra Energy Utility. Second is geographic monopoly like Gridwood Gas Station. Small town because of its location, no other business offers competition. Third is government monopoly like in our India is a UPSC exam. Government owned and operated business. And the final is technological monopoly. The way is a no technology technological industry there is only one technological industry we always prefer on this because we don't have any other option and the finally we know about the poor monopoly frankly speaking in today's life there is a very rare monopoly market in india or in the world Poor monopoly is very, very rare. Now, let's see the what is the meaning of the pure monopoly. Pure monopoly is a market structure where one company is a single source for a product and there are no close substitutes for the product available. We do not say that Apple company is a pure monopoly company because there are many types of the mobile company. So, pure monopoly is a very rare but they do exist. Sometimes it's like a water supply, electricity supply. Especially in India, it is Indian Railway. And in the picture, we must say that the Denver. The Denver Broncos are the only professional football team in USA, Denver. Like it's a pure monopoly company, a pure monopoly club, football club. For many years, Microsoft Corporation had a pure monopoly, but not nowadays. On the software and the operating systems are used in the computers that is pure example of the pure monopoly. We conclude our video here. If you like my video, then please like and subscribe and also press the bell icon for the further notification. In our next video, we must talk about the another type of the market structure that is oligopoly. And finally, we compare the all the market situation like a perfectly competitive market versus monopoly market versus oligopoly market. If you have any doubt, then please let me know. You must say or the right to the comment in below. And thank you so much and have a good day.